Welcome to all the participants. In today's discussion, we will discuss about the market research with a special reference to tourism market. Of course, after general introduction, we'll discuss what is the importance of the market research. We will also discuss what are the areas where the market research is required in tourism business, what are those quantitative and qualitative studies, insight and experiences. We will also discuss the efforts of Ministry of Tourism and the different market research projects taken care by the university institutions and the Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management. Dear friends, knowledge about relevant parameters and characteristics has to be gathered through a study of the market because market become very vibrant. Everyday changes are taking place and studying the market to know its characteristics, its attributes, its feature, they are also becoming complicated and complex. Therefore, for a business organization, it is very much essential to understand about the market. For this, marketing research play a, a role as a tool to the process of systematic gathering, analyzing, evaluating the data relating to the market. It deals with the manifold facets of the market and provide the basis for marketing decision or it provides the base for making the decision about the elements in the marketing mix. Now the question arises, what is the importance of marketing research? Dear friends, market research is required to know the facts. Market research is required to know the competition, to encounter the competition. Market research is required to deploy the limited resources so that maximum outcome can come out or maximum output can come out. Market research is required to encounter the changes. Market research is required in tourism because of the changing tourism scenario. And market research is also required for the sustainability of the organization in the long term. We have witnessed number of companies like Godrej, LNT, Hindustan Labor Limited, those spend heavily on the market research. So when we talk about the market research, market research is concerned with the consumers. Basically, if it is related to the consumer, it will be called as market research with the consumers. If it is related with the product, that is product research market. So it is basically related to the marketing mix which we have discussed like product, price, place, promotion, people, process, physical evidences. Some people call it 4 P's, some call 7 P's, some call 8 P's. But all the product, those have the marketing mix. The pillars are starting with the term called P's and the moment we are involved in the research in that particular area that is called marketing research. Like when we talk about the tourist, who are the tourists? Why they are coming? Where do they want to go? What are their preferences? What is their age group? Why they are staying in a particular place? What are the pull and push factor? So all these are related with the consumer and therefore we call them the consumer research because we are talking about their profiles, we are talking about their awareness, we are talking about their habits, we are talking about their or we are searching about their needs, preferences, expectation, perception in both manner, quantitative and qualitative. When we talk about the product or the price, we try to find out what type of features they require, what type of uh, you know product they wish to, whether they would like to go for the bird watching or for the wildlife tourism or for the ecotourism or for the um, camel safari. So those are here called the product related. When we talk about the price sensitivity, we try to analyze 
why the people are staying in this particular hotel or particular property, why they are flying by these airlines. Is it the price is important? Is it the market is price sensitive? So any research which is related with the pricing, whether the discounts are attracting the tourist or not, we have witnessed during the December time, most of the people, I'm talking about the international tourists, those are coming to India. The volume become lesser. The reason is because during the Christmas days, they don't want to come. And it has a direct reflection on the airfare. Visit to India is cheaper. Like when you visit Dubai or the Gulf countries, during the month of Ramzan, the air fares are lesser because this is the time period when they travel less. Like Hindu or most of the Indians, while they are celebrating Diwali, the air fare are less. But at the same time, because of the nuclear family system, people are staying away from their families for their work. So if you visit any airport or any railway station or bus stand, you will find there is a huge crowd because they all wishes to return back to their home for celebration of the festival. So the discounts, volume of the business, frequent flyer program, because price sensitivity is very important when we talk about the tourism and travel business. Dear friends, similarly the promotion. In the recent past, promotional strategies, social media marketing, that become very important. Facebook, Twitter, these sort of things become very important when we talk about the social media marketing or online marketing. Trip advisor become a very important factor which affect the buying decision of the tourist. The language, the selection of the model is also very important when we talk about the promotional aspect. When we talk about the India, in India too, different state governments, now they are entering into the marketing research. They are like even Ministry of Tourism is spending high amount of money on the market research. Yes, compared to the Western world, their spending on the marketing research is lesser, tourism market research. But at the same time, now slowly they also realize that who are the people, why they are coming, what is their purpose. Even the universities, they are spending monies on tourism market research. I wish to inform you there are more than 80 Indian universities running tourism department. Though in India, in the universities, of late tourism become a separate discipline in compared to all traditional discipline. Still, most of them are under the sociology department or the history department or commerce department or management department. Whereas some of the schools are established, those are purely taking care of tourism. And they are also doing research. They are involved in the research. Of course, there is a need to have the applied research in tourism so that it can be beneficial for all the stakeholders. When we talk about tourism research or market research in tourism, international tourists, those are coming to India, what is their requirement? Like the tourists from Europe or US, they may have a different requirement, whereas the tourists, those are coming from Salala or those are coming from Gulf, they may have a different requirement. This you can witness in Goa, when the Russians are coming in a group or Israelis coming in group in Himachal, their requirement was the different. If the government is not coming out with the research, then the private sector are coming up. And therefore, when you visit Kullu or Manali, at particular time, there were small huts. Whereas, when we talk about Goa, the hippie culture during 80s, because hippies had the different requirement, therefore, Goa was initially developed as a different nation. But now, you name any five-star hotel, be it is Marriott, be it is Holiday Inn, be it is Taj Group, you will find all of them have their properties there in Goa. Because in Goa also nowadays, the high-end tourist is coming. Dear friends, when we talk about the research, research is based upon the data collection. The basic is data. Of course, 
Finding of a problem is important. What is the problem? What is the gray area? Where is the gap study required? And then we have to collect the data. And data and information can be collected through primary sources and the secondary sources. Design of the questionnaire, instruments, maybe schedule, that is required to collect and record the data. Of course, a lot of data can be collected and they are analyzing through the desk research, through record, through publication, through commercial, you know, uh, trade information, press cutting, so many things. Sometimes uh, Ministry of Tourism every year they release the tourism statistics. So the researchers just go through those data and they try to find out. Whereas certain primary data are being collected from the tourist, they are being collected to the visitors, focus group meetings are being taken place, survey, responses, recording, through media response, through other related medium through which the primary data are being collected. All they become very useful when we talk about the market research in tourism. Most of the companies, they start their business now after keeping in mind who are the customers. And the moment we start what consumer want, marketing research start from the very point of that aspect. Some of the studies are quantitative studies and some of them are a qualitative one. And some of these studies are being held on continuous basis. When we talk about the qualitative studies, they are basically concerned with the qualitative aspects of product, price, place, promotion, hotel quality, transportation quality, opinion polls, interaction with the tourists, and based upon which the organization take a business decision. Whereas when we talk about the quantitative data, that is basically important to manage the mass tourism. Number of visitors, those are coming to a place. Number of visitors visiting Varanasi during the Dev Deepavali. Navratri, when number of tourists are visiting Vaishnav Devi Shrine. Number of tourists, those are visiting Amarnath. So quantitative and qualitative data, both are important when we talk about the market research in tourism. Because in tourism, the organizations as well as the customer, both require maximum benefits or they both are looking for the maximum outcome. And it is the market research which provide the optimum profit to the organizations. Dear friends, in the market research in tourism, the organization need not to forget that scenario is changing every day. There should continuous research so that we can come across about the latest information which is required for the better decision making. Unfortunately, in India and most of the developing nation, the spending power on tourism market research is comparatively lesser when we talk about the other countries where the tourism become an important element of their economy or for their economic development. Very small areas where the research can be conducted that how many seats are required, how the people wishes to sit, what should be the size of the table, what should be the temperature of the coffee or what should be the temperature of the edibles, those are being served. In hospitality industry, the research have gone one step ahead. Food preparation has gone one step ahead. Nowadays, gastronomy become an important area where the research studies are required. You know, in hotel, you might have seen the couple corner, selfie point. All these become the latest development. Enjoying the food with cricket match, a big screen is there. Especially most of the restaurant when the cricket, world cricket match or 2020 or some competition is there, maybe hockey final tournament or soccer football tournament. So now the hotel is not a place only for the accommodation. Research studies have shown that tourists want enjoyment. So there is a gym also, there is a swimming pool also, 
there is a yoga and meditation exercise also for the tourist then for food also during breakfast there is a south indian food there is a western food say bread butter and corn flakes at the same time typical uh, puri and bhaji is also there sabji is also there youngsters like to have the chow mein and the noodles so the restaurant is serving all these sort of stuff to the tourist now tourism is not confined only to the sight scene tourist want to have the maximum thrill in the minimum time and researchers have shown it and therefore the hotel is arranging evening programs also the kathputli show or some dance show and even some of their rooms have been converted into the dance room so that the locals means the people those are staying in the hotel can enjoy with their family in the evening and the theme dinners so hotel like which was basically meant for the accommodation for shelter or for food but now they are also offering several services and this become the result of the research dear friends when we talk about the success story of las vegas when we talk about the success story of macau when we discuss the success story of um, genting island or when we talk about the singapore santosa island we realize that if the proper research is being conducted then definitely outcome become very important we have witnessed there are certain occasional festivals every year they are being held india international fair in delhi people are going to wtm world tourism mart london or they are going for the iato or tai convention to have a meeting but at the same time they are very the stakeholders are attending these places of course for their convention but at the same time the expert lectures are being held so that they can come to know about the trends what are the new trends those are coming up in the market research area in the tourism domain and when we talk about the tourism domain in today's scenario where the the, the entire world become a global village whatever is being held maybe in the political scenario or the safety scenario or security scenario you will realize that it has the effect on the tourism we have witnessed that how the disneyland in us has gone successful singapore is successful whereas france is losing money the reason have to be found we have to find out why the water based tourism is becoming less popular when we talk about the non coastal area of india most of the water park be it is in delhi be it is in gaziabad be it is in gurgaon during even summer also they are not becoming successful when the study was conducted then it was realized the land rate in the urban area has gone up in compared to that the earning is quite less so when we talk about the market research market research is required not only for the tourism industry but since the tourism has a multiplier impact there is a concept called tourism satellite accounting which is very important in market research when one tourist is coming how many people are getting employment what is the impact on the indian economy when the tourist are coming you would realize that urbanization is coming up infrastructure is being developed poultry farms because they are enjoying milk and eggs meat business vegetable market you will find that overall economy is growing when the tourist movement is there not only concerned with the accommodation and transportation but the accessory uh, ancillary services are becoming also important we have witnessed the sleeping village like khajuraho and orsha in madhya pradesh at one point of time there were no tourist but the movement tourist is coming is to this area they become vibrant village we still recall 1970s or 60s agra but now today because of the taj mahal and it's opening to the tourist even during the night also the taj mahal is being sold out and that become possible only because of the market research that what 
exactly the tools require and why they want to have this. And this become easy for the government also. Dear friends, I wish to inform you that Ministry of Tourism, Government of India also have their market research division where they conduct the study. Some of the studies are being given to the different organization like KPMG, Ernest and Young and some of the studies are being conducted by the ministry's organization called Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management. The role of social media and its impact on tourism, the medical tourism studies, the impact of rural tourism, a long list of the research activities, those have been taken care by the IITTM is there on the website. Some of the studies are being taken care by the different university tourism department of India as a pool and the outcomes are being utilized by the government for planning. Recently, for police security also, the ministry did the study. A study is being conducted worth of say 60 lakh plus on the number of visitors, why the number of visitors to the ASI monuments are becoming lesser. What's the impact? Why it is being so? Why the occupancy in the luxury train is becoming lesser? What is the impact of the GST on tourism? So these are the new areas where Ministry of Tourism is conducting research by utilizing its own organization called IITTM. So market research in tourism is concerned with the consumer research and it should be consumer centered. When we talk about the product market research, when we talk about the <clears throat> place market research or when we talk about the price market research, when we talk about the promotional market research, processed market research, people's market research or physical evidences. In all these areas, the market research is required to be the consumer centric and it should be of applied nature. Of course, theoretical research have their own importance, descriptive research, explorative research have their own importance. But at the same time, research outcome which is beneficial immediately for the end users, it is very important and therefore we have witnessed even when we are going to the malls or airports, the use of IT information technology in market research. Sometimes we call it is MIS marketing information system that is very important for the research. There are certain app based solution technique through which researches are being taking place. The reason is the entire industry is changing very fast and here we cannot overlook the smartphone use, the IT use, rather there are certain areas called data mining, data information system, all these become very important. It is not only the private sector which is taking care for the advantage of the research, even the public sector like Indian Railways or Air India, they are also using, the government organizations are also using the IT based tools for their research. Therefore, IRCTC, Baman Lorry, these both government organization is day by day they are moving ahead in spite of tough competition. So therefore, as a marketing professional working in the tourism area, we should always remember in our mind if our decisions are based upon the proper research, then definitely the decision will be useful for the organization and this would definitely generate the revenue and the profit for the organization with the welfare of the tourist or the clients. Thank you.